Hi friend, I am Dr. Munsi. Today I will discuss about a very important topic dental radiography in pregnancy. Is it safe? This particular presentation will be helpful for the pregnant lady as well as medical and dental practitioners. So let's start. We know about different gum disease that occurs in pregnant stage because of hormonal imbalance that may be pregnancy tumor that may be pregnancy gingivitis or pregnancy related gum disease so it's a common problem in pregnant lady for that or other cause for diagnostic purpose or any emergency tooth pain or any trauma sometime we need dental radiography the question arises that the exposure of dental radiography is it safe for the unborn baby is it safe for a pregnant lady let's discuss about it in detail first thing is that what are the typical fetal doses in dental radiographic procedure you may surprise to know that the dose we use in dental radiography is much less than the normal environmental radiation day to day. So, the fetal dose is 0.009 microsievert to 7.97 microsievert. This is usually less than the estimated daily natural background dose received by the fetus. So the dose is very low and if you use the protection like lead apron or thyroid collar the radiation will be much lesser than that. So this is absolutely safe for a pregnant lady and for her unborn baby. Now the second question is if a dental x-ray procedure has been performed on a pregnant woman what is the risk to the fetus and what advice may be provided that i discussed earlier that there is very minimal of risk is there many people thinks that it may cause cancer or it may cause any genetical abnormality in uh, if a pregnant lady is exposed to radiation, dental radiation especially. But the fact is that the other causes of cancer or genetical abnormality are thousand times greater than the dental radiography. So you need not worry about that. Then for dental practitioner, this question is important. How should one deal with possible pregnancy of a woman before performing a dental radiological procedure? You have to take her history that she is pregnant or not. If she is pregnant, if you, you, uh, you are comfortable for, diagnos uh, for a diagnosis without x-ray, without other investigation procedure, you don't, do not need an x-ray, just go for the other pro other investigation but when x-ray is necessary dental x-ray is necessary you can take it with informed consent of course so it is reasonable to counsel the woman on level of radiation exposure and associated risks prior to performing the procedure though the risk is very low absolutely zero you can say but you have to tell the patient about that now there is an interesting discussion after a study the study was the awareness among the dentists and the study reveals that only 22.1 percent dentists were aware that no chromosomal abnormalities occur subsequent to exposure to diagnostic radiation dose Every dentist believes that there is a risk, but that is absolutely wrong. Only 22% is aware about that. That's why I am making this video. Now, 
In brief, a routinely X-ray typically taken during annual exams can usually be postponed until after the birth. If there is no need of X-ray, then don't go for it, postpone it. If X-ray is necessary, then you can do it in case of emergency or if it needs to do some dental procedure. According to American College of Radiology, no single diagnostic X-ray has, has a radiation dose significant enough to cause adverse effects in a developing embryo or fetus. And according to American Dental Association and American Council of Obstetrics and Gynecology, having dental X-rays during your pregnancy is considered safe and appropriate shielding. Safe with appropriate shielding. Okay. And some women may elect to avoid dental treatment during their first trimester because due to this time is vulnerable or um, they think that maybe there will be uh, any harm. But there is no evidence suggesting uh, harm to the baby for those electing to visit the dentist during this time frame. But in case of non-emergency, dental treatment may differ after birth after until after birth because for a pregnant lady and uh, if the appointment is long or the patient have to lie in a dental chair for a long time it is very uncomfortable for her so if uh, that treatment is not emergency then you can defer it until after the birth so the moral of the story is you can do dental radiography in pregnancy if it is necessary thank you very much subscribe like and comments see you in next video